Here is the latest from Zelos watches, the Zelos Hammerhead 2 chronograph. If you haven't seen my video on the latest Zelos Hammerhead 2, I'll either link that up in the right hand corner or down in the description below. But this watch is very much the same watch as the new Hammerhead 2. It has the same case and the same bracelet. Although the case back is going to be a lot bigger. And of course, this is a chronograph. Now, as you can see, it is a 7750 Elaborate chronograph. This is the blue dial variation. You have that brushed blue ceramic bezel insert. Like with all Zealous, pro uh, Zealous products, you are going to find a bunch of different colors and variations. This one is $849. That is the launch price. I've talked about that with Zealous watches in the past. The launch price is like a pre-order price, but not really because technically this watch is already available or will ship very shortly after you pay for it. Uh, I think it's saying they're shipping within two weeks after you pay for it. Um, I believe each one of these is limited to around 50 pieces per color and variation. There are bronze variations as well, and you can check out all the prices. I'll have it linked down below to the Zealous website for this collection. But to me, one of the biggest standouts for this watch is not only that dial with that cro those chronograph registers like that, those subdials. They have that uh, square pillow style uh, look about them. Well, not look about them. That's what they are. And uh, gives it a retro vibe. I really like that. I also like that they went with a no date. Now, keep this in mind. It is a no date. There is no date on the dial. But that date wheel is still in there, so when you pull out that crown, you can hear it here, and you can see that it does have that phantom date wheel uh, going on there. The other thing, though, that immediately, as soon as I took it out of the Zealous box and watch roll, is how thick it is. Now, uh, the past few watches that I've reviewed, including the regular three-hand Zealous Hammerhead 2 and the new Abyss, are very chunky watches now and that's okay there's a lot of guys out there that are going to like the chunky watch like this it is still 44 millimeters in width and everything else is the same but you're going to get it's even chunkier because of that movement and still being a thousand meters water resistant and you have that big case back as well now chunky big watches are not a bad thing as i said Lots of guys out there are going to absolutely love this watch. Some of you have probably uh, probably already pre-ordered one. All well and good. Now for me, oh man, I gotta say, I really, really, really love this watch. But this watch on this bracelet weighs 286 grams. Now you do get the rubber strap, just like you get with the regular hammerhead chrono, or regular hammerhead um uh, dive watch the three-hander and which is great if you already own a regular hammerhead too you'll now have an extra bracelet and an extra rubber strap so if your dog chews up one of your rubber straps eh, now you got an extra one and you could swap them uh between the watches but this watch on this bracelet weighs 286 grams it is a hefty hefty big watch i personally do not need a thousand meters of water resistance and that and that 7750 movement is what is making this watch so much thicker? I would love if he could do a 7750 watch such as this in that hammerhead two case, but bring that down to somewhere around 15 millimeters thick. Um, this actually, now the website lists this as 18 millimeters thick without the sapphire, that dome sapphire crystal. I get, I, and I measured a few times with my calipers, I'm getting more closer to 19 millimeters. And with that crystal included in, in that measurement, almost 21 millimeters. If you could bring that down to 15 millimeters and say have 200 meters water resistance, man, that would be great for me. Now, I understand I'm probably in the minority on that. And as I said, Zealous makes a lot of other watches much smaller, much thinner. Uh, the Hammerhead has always been a thicker, chunkier, just a beast, if you will, of a watch. Um, and I knew that adding that chronograph was going to make it even thicker. I just didn't realize, I guess, until, uh, which happens sometimes, until you actually see something in person, whether it's a watch or a car or any other product that you're looking at, 
you, you could watch it on video, you could see it in pictures, but then you get it in person. You're like, wow, that is thick. And then of course, being almost 300 grams in weight, um, it is very, very heavy on the stainless steel bracelet. Now, as I said, the bracelet and the case, except for that case back, are going to be exactly the same as the new uh, Hammerhead 2. And, you know, while I'm sitting here recording this and I'm thinking titanium would be a really good way to go here to reduce. Uh, it would still be just as thick in this uh, current configuration, but uh, would be a lot more wearable, at least to me, in titanium. But, okay, my wishes and my wants aside, what about this one? Well, you're still getting the exact same Zealous quality. I've talked about it before. I don't consider Zealous to be in the most upper micro brand, you know, um, watch uh, quality. If you That sounded wrong. That came out wrong. I'll leave it in there. I'm not going to edit it out. But uh, I don't consider it to be the most top tier micro brand out there. You know, as far as quality and finish and case construction, I wouldn't really compare them to Manta. But those are two different companies as well. But I've always considered Zealous to be a great brand. They get better every single year. Uh, they've only been in... I want to say it's about six, seven years now that they have been around. Um, and if going back to their original watches to what they're producing now, and they seem to be producing a lot of watches now, um, this is at least the third new watch from Zelos this year, and that's just under the Zelos brand because Elshan has other watch brands as well. But the quality, I've talked about it before, is very, very good. It's a solid piece. It's finished well. I love the Hammerhead case and especially the now, the newer Hammerhead 2. It's a little bit more angular, a little bit more aggressive looking. You kind of have that dual finish on the side of the case. Uh, all around, it's a great product. And $850 for a Valju 7750 chronograph. That's uh, encased in a watch such as this. That's uh, that is a pretty good deal. Pretty good, I guess. Value is subjective, of course, but it it does seem to be a pretty good value. So if you like this, I'm gonna have the links to the Zealous collection for the uh, Hammerhead Chronograph down below. And uh, let me know in the comments, if you already have a hammerhead, would you add the chronograph to it, uh, to your collection? Or would it be redundant? Or is this the uh, hammerhead that you've been waiting for because you love chronograph watches? Let me know what you think. Let me know also if you agree with me, if you'd love to see a thinner variation of this watch or if you love it just as is as always uh, please subscribe hit that notification bell twice that way you never miss any of our content or uploads you could follow us facebook twitter and instagram uh, check out what we have coming in and what's upcoming for reviews leave a comment leave a like always appreciated i hope you enjoyed this video you could check out some of our more recent reviews here at the end of the video thanks for watching Talk to you on the next one.